way in on Dame Dash, clear some stuff up. Pretty much came out and said, Dame Dash, you're a liar. So we all been kind of sitting around waiting, anticipating Dame Dash's response. And he quietly responded last night during uh, him and brother Kenyatta, you know, uh, master classes they were doing last night. So we're going to play a little bit of this, Sam, at, and then we're going to talk about this. I know that people have been waiting for this. So here we go. Dame Dash responding to Funk. Master Flex Roll Tape. Is they always try to send one of us to fight each other, to make each other look bad, so that it takes the attention off that person. Body yeah, but it's, it's so basic. But, and, what? But, but, here's the, but here's the thing. Um, Flex doesn't have a boss mentality. So he doesn't think in boss. He thinks in he slaves. He doesn't speak boss. He speaks slave. He, sees, he speaks yes, sir. Mm. And the problem, and the problem with it, yes, sir. the problem with it is he doesn't realize that they don't respect him because they've never given him a promotion. Like how could he work 30 years on the cash register and they don't even make him a program director. They must not respect his intelligence either, but he doesn't even see it. They've made him feel happy. Like I'm 50 and I'm going to go dye my beard up every single day. And I'm going to put on a patty green, a lime patty green, peppermint patty green Yankee hat and talk about another man's business for a, leave, a living. So now he becomes a peppermint patty chatty patty. That's what he is. OG chatty patty. And he gets paid for it. Well, I'm not going to get into that. Because I'd like to have a personal conversation with him as a man, and I would think it would behoove him to speak to me as one because I deserve that. But I didn't even listen to what he said because I don't listen to gossip, even if it's said about me. It's still a waste of time. Bosses don't waste time, but I have other things to do. And I can't even think that he could even put himself in my shoes because, again, that would mean he'd have to come out that room. But I feel sorry for Flex. And all I can say is, Tell your master to let you out that room, bro, so you can see the world. There's another game being played. And let somebody else get that slot. Because you're a 50-year-old man speaking to 25 to 35-year-olds. I'm 15 to 25 to half your age. And you're judging people that need help. And every time you talk about somebody that's not doing that, it's always to cause friction. It seems like you had a conversation with Leo. I heard you went to a party. And whatever battery he put in your back, he made you try to disrespect someone that's only trying to help us. It's time for you to step down, bro. Flex. Let somebody else that has a different perspective be in control of music. Someone that wants us to win. When you open up your mouth, it shouldn't cause tension amongst us. We're supposed to be sticking together, bro. Keep the keep the focus where it should be. Keep it on Lior. Talk to me, Lior. You keep making money on rap beef. You keep giving people money to beef and you put it on YouTube. But I'm calling you out. I want a real conversation as a man. Let's make some money off that. How come it's always make money off us? Why we can't make money off hey, being smart? We only want to make money off us looking stupid. So I'm going to give you a pass, Flex, because I love you as a brother, and I feel sorry for you. I'm going to give you a pass, and if you want some love, I'll give it to you. But I need a conversation so I can educate you because you're powerful. Pause. All right, Sam, man. I think that's enough. You know, right there, mouthful, said a mouthful, you know, right there. Um, I'm going to let you go and speak about this. Also called Leo Cohen up, you know, to have a conversation. What do you think about this epic response, man? Ether, straight up ether by Dame Dash, though. What's your thoughts, man? Well, Dame Dash said he's not going to disrespect his brother because he loves his brother. And he's going to respect him. We respected Flex a couple of days ago on this show. But we're going to... We're going to change up a little bit. And I'm not going, and, and, and we said we respect him, but there's a lot of shit that Flex is doing right now that just can't be respected. And we got to call it out. And we called it out a little bit a couple of days ago. We called it out last week live on the Incident True Podcast, Hip Hop News Uncensored, when we talked about the cavemen over at Hot 97, Ebro in particular. Mm -hmm. And it looks like our man Flex, your man Flex, jumped right on the boat of the caveman Hot 97 to try to keep this, this sinking ship abroad. And it's failing. It's failing miserably. It's failing horribly. And the one thing that I just can't respect, I can't respect it, is a man doing another man's goddamn bidding. I can't respect it. Now, we all have jobs we're supposed to provide for our family. I ain't talking about that. 
I'm talking <laughs> about somebody coming out there, putting money in your pocket and telling you what to say. And then you saying it without any, any fucking knowledge of what you're talking about. Now, there's a lot of people clapping and agreeing with what Flex said. There's a lot of people out there agreeing with Flex said in the mainstream media. We'll get into some of them. People are saying it directly. Some people are saying it indirectly. We'll talk about them. Mm -hmm. But it's like, why is the mainstream media against Dame Dash? And I don't want to seem like we Dame Dash riders and all that shit because we do agree with a lot of what he says. But I cannot help but just to go. Damn, real recognizes real. Mm -hmm. And when you see a brother that's talking about self ownership, and then you see the the hurdles that he had to go through within the music industry, and you he gives here the reasons why he's going through them, it makes sense to a man that seeks to be fucking free. Now mm -hmm. we weren't all born free. A lot of us were born with shackles on, corporate shackles or whatever in our mind or whatever. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us seen that and broke free of that. So I'm not sitting here acting like we're holier than thou, like we started out like that. A lot of us were sitting there. So when you hear somebody speak, it's like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And like minds think alike. You want to go, if you are the smartest or you, if you now become the smartest man in the room, you now got to get out of that room. Right. Dame always makes you feel like you ain't the smartest man in the room because he's <laughs> always giving you some kind of extra gem. So right. why do people go against that? You know, I could see why, you know, now I get it, you know, all as much as we can flame Hot 97 and we can flame Funk Flex. And it's due. The reason why Dame Dash is saying he's feeling sorry, you know, for Funk Flex is simply because if you just look at a country like America who has a history of slavery, you know, servitude, and then you have this guy, you know, who comes in in an art form where people are able to, you know, escape this, make money, people come out of the inner city. You have this one guy who is known for putting more limitations on these artists taking more of their money that comes in as opposed to, you know, helping them. We got them on record already sitting up here saying that, you know, uh, um, about the opioid uh, epidemic. We're I mean, not going to go too far into that, but if y'all remember the breakfast club clip, we, we know, so we can always talk about culture vultures, you know, all day, but when funk master flex now takes this position now to shield this guy and talk for him. Now that makes him that, you know, he's now, you know, uh, um, now I don't know what the, what the exact term is, whether you want to call it blocking or not, but he come. We don't know if there's any proof that Leo Cohen gave him any money or not like that. But it's sure starting to look like it now that he comes out and, and, and brings this conversation up out of nowhere to go against a man who's talking about freedom and independence for artists and ourselves. This is a we shouldn't even be arguing about this as a people. No other group of people have to argue with their people about being free and independent and have an ownership about what they do except us. Mm -hmm. So I can understand why he says, look, this is why I feel sorry for this dude because he don't even know that he's acting like a slave right now, man. He was, he, he might not have got paid or we don't know if he got paid. I firmly believe he did, but we know the lobster was fabulous and this is per flex himself. <laughs> Thank you, Lior. Thank you for such a wonderful evening. The lobster was magnificent. The food was great. The atmosphere was wonderful. And yeah, I'm going to speak up on you because God damn it, this is wrong what Dame is doing. Mm -hmm. Y'all should own all of our masters. Absolutely. And you know what? Y'all should take a lot of our touring too. We shouldn't own anything. We should be thanking you guys. It's not about color. You're right. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying, Flex. Mm -hmm. And it's a shame, man, because you've had and, and we've given you respect because we grew up on you during your heyday when Hot 97 was the pinnacle station in America, not just New York when everyone throughout the country wanted to hear what Hot 97 had to say. Facts. And you were the staple of that. You definitely were, and a lot of other personalities out there. But for you to sit here, and like Dame alluded to at 50, trying to resonate with a demographic between 15 to 25, nah, boss, it just doesn't fit. It doesn't work, and this is why you're getting the backlash that you're getting. This is why you're turning off your comments on IG, because you don't want to hear the truth. You mm -hmm. want to sit there and act like you're spewing the truth, hashtag Dame is a liar, like you're trying to start a movement, Seems as though something's trying to get started and why, which I don't understand, but then it also makes sense. You want to start this movement so that you can kind of get people against name, self ownership, this and that. And the third, let's get only your side. Let's let's make sure Hot 97 gets some controversy because I'm going to keep this going. I'm going to keep people mad at me mm -hmm. because now Hot 97 is getting attention, but they may not be getting attention that they want because I'm about to tear their ass up yeah. because they deserve it. And I'm thinking and begging the question, is it time for a new regime to come into town like Dame was alluding to? And does Hot 97 need to get themselves cleaned out before they're at the bottom? I made a title on YouTube on, on my platform, Vile Hip Hop News, mm -hmm. is 
for Hot 97 on the verge of running out of business. Now, not based off the fucking Kodak Black interview, of course, but I'm talking about years down the road when we look at it, mm -hmm. are they in danger of really losing their position when it comes to one being one of the pinnacle uh, stations and platforms for people listening to hip hop? Are they in danger of that? And I say absolutely, mm -hmm. especially when they got them people in there doing what they're doing. Nothing. Yeah, e bro. It may it might be already um you know pretty much on the way out the door. And this for me, you know, I was kind of riding hard with them, trying to you know just be a devil's advocate on the whole conversation about Hot Nine Seven. But with this latest move right here, it's like my thing is just don't say nothing at all. But for Flex to come out now and just to to put this out there and put all this negative energy out there and go against a man like what Dame Dash is trying to do right now, it just baffles me, man. It's real sad to see you know um. You know this happened in hip hop for real. I thought Flex, we you know a couple weeks ago we was giving him mad, you know props about how he was moving the culture forward and leaks giving artists the platform, you know real spitters and all that. But now, you know uh, it, this 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 sucks, man. So you know um, get the book Culture Vultures if you want to know more about that whole aspect because um, Funk Flex he dropped a um, a post earlier pretty much talking about that it's not about color. And Dame Dash, like you said, never said the culture vulture was about being color. He talked about black culture vulture, you know, as well. So, you know, um, if you're for, you know, somebody who's going to rape the culture and, and continue to exploit us and push drugs and stuff on there, be for that. But if you're about cleaning it up, you know, uh, um, and, you know, showing these rappers that they could do more and be independent and keep more of their money, then, you know, it's two sides to the story. Funk Master Flex clearly showed where he's at and um i think that regime is already done it's already new people now starting to come up mm -hmm. and uh especially with the internet and youtube like that and filling those shoes so definitely agreed yes sir but that was you know another segment on the uncensored truth podcast with your brother oh god and sam man talking about yeah.